In this home workout, we're gonna build strength and flexibility simultaneously by performing lower body stretching in between sets of weighted push-ups and pull-ups. And then we'll do some supplementary exercises to build muscle in the chest, back, and shoulders. There's a link in the description to download the program. For the primary workout, we're doing five rounds of eight weighted push-ups and eight neutral grip pull-ups, paired with our main flexibility movements, the couch stretch and the loaded butterfly stretch. Set up the weighted push-up so you can get full range of motion without the weight interfering. Focus on keeping your scapula depressed at all times. An easy cue for you to think of to do this is to pull your shoulders down towards your butt and keep a straight line from the head to the feet. Allow the scapula to retract and protract during the movement to get full range of motion. For the pull-up, start from a dead hang and initiate by pulling the shoulders back and down and extending the shoulders a little. This brings the lats into the movement early and maximizes power. Now, if you can't do eight reps of pull-ups for all five sets, I recommend doing hybrid sets or eccentric reps. The quality of your pull-ups matters. So performing five sets of low quality reps just won't produce the same results as regressing and focusing on a progression that you can really control. I'll link a video at the end of this that breaks down everything you need to know about going from zero pull-ups to sets of eight like I'm doing. Now, if you've got questions, hit me up in the comments and there's also a link in the description of this so that you can download the program. Flexibility movements, we're doing 30 second holds, which gives us a nice amount of volume in one workout. For the couch stretch, get into a posterior pelvic tilt and then push your butt back towards your heel to increase intensity and your 30 seconds starts once you get into that position. The loaded butterfly is really simple. Just keep your spine flat against the wall, feet together, get your feet close to the groin and then just allow the weight to push your knees down. Now after your five sets, we move into the supplementary B exercises and here we're doing some isolated work for the chest and back specifically the traps, the rhomboids, and the deltoids. For the chest flies, try to get your spine horizontal and keep your scapula depressed at all times. Same cues for the bent over lateral raise. And put your intention into the muscles that you're working here. With isolated work like this, it's easy to just smash out reps without targeting the muscles properly. But training with intention is something that I learned from my friend Ben Pakulski, and it's been a game changer. It refers to where your mind is during every moment of every rep. So don't just think about the movement, think of the muscle. So we're doing three sets of eight to 10 reps here with a three second eccentric contraction. Make sure you stay honest with your three second eccentrics for both of these exercises. It's really gonna help maximize muscle growth. All right, for the supplementary C exercises, we're doing a flat supine dumbbell chest fly for three sets of eight to 10 reps and a standing cable face pull for three sets of eight to 10. I like to use a D roller for chest flies because it allows full range of motion with the scapula. I'll put a link in the description where you can get those on Amazon. For the chest fly, keep your scapula depressed and don't bring your hands any closer together than you see me doing. This way you keep constant tension in the pecs. When your hands go above your shoulders, you actually deload the muscle, which we don't wanna do. For the cable pull, initiate by pulling the shoulders back and down, then pull the elbows high so that your upper arm is in line with the cable. In the eccentric phase, keep your scapula retracted until your elbows are straight, and then allow your scapula to protract at the end of the rep for full range of motion. You'll notice that I always do antagonistic movements together to create a balanced workout and maximize the use of time. So this way you can rest like one to two minutes between exercises. And then when you perform the first exercise again, you will have had three to four minutes rest on that muscle group. This is a very efficient and effective way to work out. All right, for the supplementary D exercises, we're pairing a standing cable lat pullover with a prone 30 degree incline dumbbell trap three raise. Now both exercises, we're doing three sets of eight to 10 reps with a three zero one zero tempo. Focus on keeping your elbows straight in both movements. For the lat pullover, initiate by pulling the scapula down into depression. For the trap three raise, initiate by pulling the scapula back and down into retraction and depression. And then just make sure that you're always thinking of full range of motion, keeping those elbows straight and a three second eccentric. And then we're onto our rotator cuff work with four sets of eight to 10 reps 
of the seated dumbbell external rotation from the knee. Just make sure you keep your scapula depressed at all times and isolate the movement to rotation of the humerus. Don't lift with your ego. For most people, two kilos or four and a half pounds is more than enough to get started. To see a follow along routine of one of my home workouts, you can click or tap the screen there. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, comment if you've got any questions, and I'll see you in that next video.